Well, it has been 10 years since uh, Elders Village in Kudalot took, uh, it, it took in its first resident. Now, since then, the home has uh, looked uh, after at least 300 senior citizens who were left destitute after the devastating uh, tsunami in December 2004. At any given time, now there are 80 elders who live uh, there in safety, and over the, uh, over the years, 45 were reunited with their families as well and this is something that was an initiative by NDTV as well with contributions from viewers as well and Maya Sharma is there at the spot and joins us for more on this Maya what a fascinating way to help people uh, tell us more about this initiative that was taken with any uh, between NDTV and of course uh, our viewers as well Kadalore was a scene of devastation that December in 2004, but thanks to the help of viewers of NDTV who were moved by the plight of people affected by the tsunami, this home, this home was built with the bulk of the contribution coming from NDTV viewers to help elderly people who had been left homeless, rendered without families because of that tsunami. And 10 years on, it's celebrating that 10th anniversary of 10 years of providing service with more than 300 people finding a home here. Matthew Cherry, the CEO of HelpAge India, is here. How many people have actually passed through this home and how many are living here now? This home has seen about 150 older people here and currently there are 76 people. And this home is largely due to NDTV viewers' contribution and we have been running this home for 10 years and people have grown from destitution to what they're standing upright in their lives okay. and they can hope to live to be 100 years but today we have only completed 10 years but they can live for much more many many years to come and it's not just about staying here and living here right there are lots of activities for the there are lots of activities people are in, involved in cleaning the place in cooking in other activities like making small handicrafts and activities yes. and they earn their own money and plus the government of Tamil Nadu is now giving them an old age pension so people are here. We also look after terminally ill older people who come here and uh, this, they live here in dignity before they, they pass and away. Joining us also Lakshmi. Lakshmi has been here. She came from Nagapattinam. How, how many years? Alright, so Lakshmi came here with her husband 10 years ago from Nagapattinam. She, they were told to come to help agent. So she came here. She's been living here since then for 10 years now at this village. And how is her life now? How is she doing? In the earth, la. Inge naanga vanda dilende. Yanga wait karre. Nalla paathu gitanga. Avur er endu vasan nalla erndare. Marbudi avur kalamai tarre. Adu kapparam nalla vande vandur ganga. Ninge taniya erkaringe en kuptanga. Na varma atay. Inda home la. Wonderful one. So Lakshmi came in with her husband who actually died after that. Her people were saying, come back. Why do you want to stay there? She said, I want to stay here. Nobody can look after me the way they look after me here. So Lakshmi, wanting to stay here at this elder's home, set up largely by contributions from you, the NDTV viewers, and that's being celebrated here in Kadalur. Right, Maya, thanks very much indeed for joining us with the very latest there. Well, it's time now for all the sports news with Rika. Thank you very much, Pervi, and we begin with English Premier.